aim is to remove the many misconceptions about automation, as well as inform you about the potential problems that it may bring. During the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, mechanization drastically increased the outputs of the primary sector while lowering the demand for labour. As a result, there was a huge movement from primary to secondary sector work. As the revolution progressed, we once again saw a shift from secondary sector work to the service sector economy we see today. Therefore, some people make the argument that new technology will bring new jobs for people. However, this is just an extrapolation of past data. There's no actual law that states better technology is equal to better jobs. Think about this. In the 1851 UK census, there were a large amount of people doing a small amount of jobs. Now, there are hundreds of new different jobs, but very few are a significant part of the workforce. So which new significant jobs are at risk? Well, the transport industry is likely going to be the first major industry that will be automated. With Google's self-driving cars, Tesla and Bosch's new autopilot features, it's not so much if they'll be replaced, but more of when. I mean, why pay a less productive, more dangerous and more expensive worker when you can pay for a constantly working self-driving truck? As a side note, there are 875,000 road transport drivers in the UK alone. Office and administrative work employs over 17 million jobs in the US. A lot of these jobs contain repetitive tasks that can and very likely will be automated. That would lead to a lot of unemployed people, and that's just the start. Look at the chance of automation for these jobs, and that's just for the next 20 years. The increased productivity in firms and increasing unemployment will lead to a lot of problems. The most important issue is the ever-increasing income inequality gap. Further separation of the classes would lead to an increase in poverty as well as corporations having complete control over consumers. So what can be done? Some say that trade unions will protect the workers, however in the long run this just won't work. Other countries would just use automation to create cheaper goods which would give them a huge economic advantage over everyone else. Also, in every example in the past, the Luddites always lose to technology. The main idea to tackle the future problems of automation is to redistribute some of the wealth. There are many methods to do this, but two major proposals are the universal basic income and negative income tax. The universal basic income is an unconditional sum of money for all members of a country, in addition to any income they already receive. Negative income tax means that anyone earning under a certain amount will receive supplementary pay rather than paying tax. Both methods have their advantages and disadvantages, but whatever method is chosen, one thing is for sure, the demand for labour will fall. Some people will just not be able to get work regardless of their skills, so we need to be prepared to move some of the stigma that's attached to the unemployed.